Pandora Pals. Thank you for joining me today to watch another one of my videos. So I haven't done a what's on my bracelet in a while and I figured that it was time to do one on this bracelet. If you follow me on Instagram then you would have seen me post plenty of pictures of it but I've never properly showed you guys every single charm that's on this bracelet and gave you like the meanings behind them. So the theme for this bracelet was all about me. I wanted to make a bracelet with charms that defined me as a person, like who I am, or like charms that represent something to me. Um, again, if you follow me on Instagram, um, at Pandora by Lily, then you would have seen that I did a unboxing on the spiritual feather pendant which I'm actually going to use as a charm if you've been a subscriber of mine and you've watched my other videos then you probably know that I'm obsessed with birds and feathers and everything of that nature so I had to get one for this bracelet all right so let's go ahead and get started with telling you about every single term that's on here so far. The first thing I have is a safety chain and it's the love connection, if I'm not mistaken with the name. This one I got to represent my love for my family. They all mean so much to me as I'm sure all of our family members do to all of us. But um, yeah, so I wanted to put something on there to represent them. Next up is the Idlewise flower with the yellow centers. This is a really beautiful charm and I love the meaning behind it. So when I was looking at this charm, I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do with it. So it was on my wish list for a super long time. Then I started doing like research on Idlewise flowers and the meaning behind them is just so beautiful. So in other countries, they represent devotion. I wanted to have this charm on here to remind me to be the best I can possibly be in the things that I choose to be in life. So for example, just be a devoted wife, soon to be, a devoted sister, a devoted coworker, um, best friend, anything. Every time I look at it, I am reminded, like, put your time and energy into the things you love and be devoted to the people that you choose to have in your life. Next up is my vanity mirror. I put this one on here to represent my career choice. So I am a licensed esthetician, so I specialize in skin and skincare, and it just reminded me of my career because every time I'm done with a facial or a treatment or whatever, I hand my client their mirror so they can look at how beautiful and glowy their skin is after their treatment. Then this one it just makes me really happy because it's the blooming heart and it represents my um, upcoming wedding date. So we chose to get married in April of 2019. So it's the spring, everything will be in bloom and it'll be so lovely outside. And I'm just really, really looking forward to that. So that's why I chose to put the blooming hearts on there because my wedding date is obviously gonna be super special and super important to me. So then we have the Be Mine Enchanted Teacup. And this is just the cutest charm ever, seriously, because look at the cute little mouse. You can see his whisker details. And there's a heart beside him that says, Be Mine. He is a fat little mouse. <laughs> He's chubby. Look at his body sitting inside the teacup. And then on the back portion, his tail is hanging off and you can see the twisty detail on the handle of the teacup. And then there's the cute little Pandora logo at the bottom. Um, but this one just represents my love of animals. If you know me, you know how much I love animals. And the little mouse in the teacup um, represents that. Here is the Shimmering Rose Clip. I chose this one because I 
love roses. I think they're one of my favorite flowers and this one in particular, well I have the matching one over here, but the clips in particular just remind me to work hard for my dream, which is to have the cute, like a cute little house with a huge rose garden and a garden in general to just grow tons of beautiful plants. Um, I believe I get that from my mother because she has the most beautiful garden ever. But yeah, just reminds me, like work hard for your dreams so that you can have that beautiful cottage with lots of land so you can grow all the flowers your heart desires, Lily. You can do it. <laughs> This one here is Sweet Sentiments. I chose it because it's like the girliest charm that I've ever seen. I mean, it's pink bows and it just represents me perfectly because I am definitely a girly girl and I love the color pink. So I had to have that one and I have another one over here. This one is called field of daisies and it's so pretty again I love that light pink color it's such a subtle charm like it doesn't really really pop like maybe some other bright colored Muranos do but it's just beautiful up close and I love the color of the daisies just so pretty and again super girly and the flowers just remind me of that dream that I have for having a flower garden this one is called enchanted teacup I chose this because of the color and also I absolutely love 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 tea I drink it every single day this one is called Princess and the Pea, and it represents my love for reading. So if you know me, then you know that I truly love to read, and I especially enjoy it drinking a cup of tea. And one day I'll be able to read a book drinking a cup of tea <laughs> in my flower garden. Um, I hope to have like benches or maybe like a hammock or something in my garden so that I can enjoy my life and sit out there and take it easy and read a book. We have another Sweet Sentiments bow charms and another shimmering rose. Over here is the Happy Birthday Cake. It's so cute because it's actually like on a stand with little scalloped details and then the little stand base is right there. Happy and birthday on either side. And then the cake top detail has roses all around it and a big one in the middle. This one is super special because um, I got it this year to represent my 23rd birthday. This year has just been incredible and super, super life-changing. I got engaged for my birthday. Um, I mean, just so many huge events in my life have happened <laughs> um, right around my birthday. So it's just, it's, I don't even know. I have no words to even start to explain how absolutely thrilled I am that I turned 23. <laughs> it's been amazing and um, this this charm just really I wanted to get because I wanted to put all of the excitement and happiness that I've experienced <laughs> into a charm. And this charm definitely just represents um, the love my fiance and I have together. Obviously, he means the world to me, so I had to put a charm on here to remind me of him. And last but not least, I just have this teacup. Um, I think this is the first teacup that Pandora ever made. Just super plain. It's got clear enamel on top and then like a scalloped edge at the bottom of the saucer. So, yep. That is what I have on here so far but like I said the spiritual feather pendant slash charm is gonna go on here so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in this section because this one's missing a dangle 
So I'm thinking that it's gonna go in between my birthday cake and the filled with romance charm. So let's slip it on and see how it looks. Beautiful. Yay. So I'm putting this charm on here to represent my last name, Bird. Um, it just, obviously, I'm obsessed with the fact that my last name is going to be Bird. So I collect all the Bird Pandora charms and anything with feathers on it. And this one I just had to have from the, I think this one was part of the summer 2018 collection. So there you have it guys. That is what is on my All About Me Pandora bracelet. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.